Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Jonathan Coase and in today's free copywriting tutorial, I'm going to be sharing with you the PAS formula, which stands for problem, agitate, solve. And you can use this as a baseline template, a foundation, if you will, for all of your next pieces, because it's a proven formula that works. In fact, if you check the 100 most productive sales letters ever written, you'll probably find out that over 50% of them have used this baseline template as the foundation because it's a very reliable strategy. So I'm going to show you an example of it. But first, before I do, and the example actually I'm going to share with you is from a very conservative, out of the ordinary dentist that's running four different ads with four different themes. And each ad actually uses this method. Um, some of them actually start off with the solution first and then ends it with the problem and then follows back up with the solution one of them actually uh, does the exact opposite but each one of these themes actually has an element of the uh, problem agitate solve solution formula now as you can see here now i first heard of this myself personally from dan kennedy in 2013 in a video that he spoke to his chief marketing officer about the effectiveness of copywriting and why it's so efficient and why he prefers the pas formula now Basically, the, the P stands for problem. You just highlight the audience's problem or whatever the case may be. So let's just say that we're in the relationship market. So in this case, the problem would be that you just got divorced with your lovely wife and you really want her back and you just had an argument that you regret. There's a ton of guilt there. And then what you do is you agitate the problem. You agitate the audience's problem by talking more about the potential of it. And what you're doing here is you're inducing fear from the reader's mind. So you're either enlightening them to a problem that exists or you're planting a new problem in their mind of one that could potentially arise if they don't do something. So in this case, if they don't fix this issue or this challenge or argument that they're having with their with his ex-wife, that he could potentially lose his ex-wife forever and not be able to remedy this. And if he doesn't do something soon or if he doesn't apply the right steps, then he's going to not be able to successfully attract his ex back. And in this case, what you can do is you just introduce the solution. So the um, solution in our case would probably be like an ebook or, or a seven day class that shows people exactly what to do and how to attract and get their ex back successfully or, you know, successfully get your wife back in this example. So and that's pretty the simple formula is really not that deep and complex. As you can see, it really simplifies the copywriting process. And I just want to show you this quick example here. So this is a website that I frequent often It's called swipe.co and it's swipe worthy is inspiration for marketers and copywriters. And and if I just go to the home page here real quick, this is what it looks like. It's basically it's a place where you can go to to access a ton of different swipe files in almost every single niche. And they and he updates this almost regularly. So you can just come in here, pick your niche um, from a variety of different industries. And then what you can do is just find different swipe files of proven templates that have already worked in the past. So you can just scroll through and find something. Now, in this case, I picked the tooth doctor. So let's go ahead and go through it. So I'm going to go ahead and read from the top. He was talking about an advertorial right here, and he was just saying how that this one is similar to this. The ads below have been running consistently since at least 2015 for this Canadian based dentist. These ads work well because they look nothing like typical dentist ads. They draw you in with an article and finally advertise the dentistry at the end. The biggest benefit to using advertorials like this besides flying under the radar is that they instantly build the dentist credibility. And by the end of the article, it makes it seem like they're really good at what they do. And you're also providing value, which puts the law of reciprocity into action. So if the reader feels like you helped them out and they're looking for a dentist, you have an advantage over the dentist who's trying hard to sell you with his generic looking ads. And as you'll notice below, all of the ads have the same format. And so he's categorized them by the theme to uh, give us a better idea on the different approaches that he takes. So the first one is he's focused on the offer and the service first, as I mentioned he has this the solution up front and then the other elements uh, preceded. So he talks about the benefits and the features of having a bright smile first. And then he ends it with the solution. And in the middle, he talks about the problems. So like, for instance, right here, where it says, if you scroll down, it says, many restorative dental procedures require more than one visit to the dentist. This means that on the first visit, the patient gets an injection of anesthesia, the damaged tooth is prepared, and an impression of the teeth is taken, and finally a temporary restoration restoration is placed. The patient returns for a second visit, gets a second injection of anesthesia, has a temporary removed, and then the permanent restoration is fitted. But the CEREC system enables our dentist to design and create custom crowns, inlays and onlays in just a single dental visit. So what he's doing is he's comparing what it's like to not use his services and just go to regular practices. You have to have multiple dental visits and 
he's displaying and he's conveying that process and how agitating it is. And he's getting into the details. He's being descriptive here, but what is normally like to go to a regular dentist. So what he's saying here is his solution is you only have to have one dental visit. So I really thought that, that was interesting. So this is just the first one. And as you can see here, they actually lead with the offer and service. And I want, what I want to do is I just want to keep on going down here where it says calling out a specific prospect. So he starts it off right off the rip with the problem. He's got a painful throbbing toothache, get prompt professional dental help. And then he goes right into the issue. I mean, he talks about the problem and then he agitates it. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's face it, a toothache can be miserable with throbbing pain that seems to pound with everyday heartbeat. With every heartbeat, there's almost nothing more painful and it can come on without noticing and knock you right off your feet. So as you can see, he's agitating the living crap out of it right there. And if you ever had a toothache, then you know what we mean. While the best thing to do is to come out, come to our office for immediate emergency care, we understand that that's not always possible. So what he's doing here is he's getting into the conversation that the prospect who's reading this already has in their mind. Likely, if they're at this point, if they're on this paragraph, they're probably having an issue with their tooth and they're feeling that pain. So the fact that he should go ahead and just putting the, the problem and he's agitating it right up front in the beginning, this is a great example and it displays how the PAS formula works. So and then he gets into agitating it throughout the article. And then there's actually another um, version here where he's talking to diabetics. He says, if you're a diabetic, it's essential to learn how to care for your teeth and gums. And then he talks about the irreversible damage that your teeth and gums if you don't take your dental care regimen seriously. And so he talks about that and then he agitates the problem. He gets into the solution at the bottom. We recommend morning appointments if possible because blood glucose levels tend to be under better control at that time of day. So he educates the prospect here about the problem and then he agitates it and then he introduces a solution. So this is a perfect example and I'm gonna link this in the description below. And that'll pretty much be it for this video. So just to recap, we just covered the PAS formula, which stands for problem, agitate, solve. And this is a very foundational baseline template is proven that works. All you got to do is just kind of fill in the blanks, really. Just look at your audience, identify the main problem, and then kind of get into detail and just write it out and create sort of like a content bank for that specific issue. That way you have something to draw from every time that you create a, a advertorial or promotion piece. And then all you really got to do from there is this, you just agitate the problem, but kind of get in descriptive and get into detail. Just like this doctor here, he got into great detail on, on both sides when it comes to having a toothache or when it comes to being a diabetic. And then what you want to do at the end is you want to introduce your solution. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like content like this, then I highly recommend that you check out my website, jonathancoast.net. You'll see it in the description. And also be sure to check out the tools and the resources as I'm going to have this article here as well as like the website swipe worthy. And I'm going to have that image and then I'm going to share a couple of different things with you, such as the Dan Kennedy interview that I first introduced to this strategy from in 2013. All right. And if you don't know, Dan Kennedy is the godfather of marketing. All right. So yeah, with that said, I will see you in the next video. See you then.